That's actually the a special case of the rod image for rod flat. Parse flat. Pause. Flat map. Uh, okay. Word image. Parse. Parse. Flat. And another width and height. 64, 64. No center. Pixels with height. We don't need to do that. What we do need to do for int pixels i data get u int at position i. Then we read the flats. And we also applied the palette all this straight away. Twitch officially bought by Amazon. Cool. <laughs> I actually don't know if you're joking. I should read the chat more. I'm sorry. 2,000 viewers are watching me play around with this. And then we have this black voodoo magic of actually putting it in a image atlas. Uh, let's just assume that it can all fit in a single, Im a single Im image atlas. Because if it can't, well, we're, we're kind of screwed. So let's just pretend like we can do that. Image now flat map value for each. Let's just assume that it all fits. We can do the math pretty easily. Flats. Uh, flat map. Length? Okay. Okay, maximum number we can fit is texture at the size divided by 64 times texture at the size divided by 64. Let's add parentheses so we make it more clear. If max flats, then it doesn't fit in a single atlas. Then we throw, oh my god, too many flats on the dance floor. Yeah. 
This is something the a common bah. This is something a common user will absolutely understand, right? Breaking on reception. Okay. So <laughs> Okay, we can do actually if lamp size equals 64 by 64. Still? What's going on here? Okay. There we go. We got all the flats. Missing glasses. And we're also with the default resolution. Uh, default texture resolution in WebGL. Or the maximum. For the minimum maximum texture resolution allowed 2048, we can put all the walls and all the sprites in a single atlas each, which is nice. At some point, I need to figure out why these aren't working. Because that really shouldn't be that sprite at all. But that's, uh, that's a later quest. Okay! Go into walls again and do floors, which we should rename because it is floors, but it is also going to burn the textures. So, which textures are trying to use here? Yeah, null. That's not good. So, let's create floors after we do this. Shall we do that? I don't think so. Floors. Texture equals Texture Ah uh, World image Okay, image atlas dot texture So now, <laughs> the editor is freaking out, but we should have a texture sampler from you to use here in the floor shader. Yeah, but I clean this code up at some point, almost, kind of. So, if we do, GL frag color equals texture 2d U text the burp xz divided by 64 it might have a I'll take some. Nope. Nope. Ready? No element. Oh yeah, because it's asynchronous. Fine, we'll do it there. Whoa! Well, that almost worked. The reason it doesn't work is that I used the entire atlas now. So, yeah, I should have figured that out. So, this is. Uh, 
Uh, racked. Times sixty-four. Divided by sixty-four. Maybe. Divided by two thousand forty-eight. Point on. Oh, did something wrong. Okay. Oops. That didn't work. So fract divided by sixty-four times sixty-four. I we'll have floor textures. Unfortunately, the wrong one, but you know. Now we should be able to send this data. using text offs V text offs A text offs Track of my I don't know if it's actually faster to do it like that, but you know. Whatever. Shader, what do I call it? A takes offs. W okay. my color we don't care we don't want to set the color okay then we want to actually encode the texture offsets here so Sector or texture flat map. <laughs> 